Chicken Air, bring you another Boom Beach video. <clears throat> In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about the chicken's worries for the Mega Crab. Now, we'll, uh, we're going to be taking on Dr. Terrence with all Zookas while we do this, and uh, you'll see guys, at the time that I'm recording this, keep in mind, this is, uh, right now it's January 24th at 12.46pm, so by the time that you guys see this, surely to God, I, I, I hope that I have the shadow by then, but as of right now, still no shadow for the chicken guys, and um, it, it looks like I'm going to be in the, in the incorrect time zone uh, yet again, it seems. So I'm thinking that um, the chicken will probably get the mega crab. Uh, looks like last, so I'll, I'll be getting it 6 p.m. Friday. But for everyone else, they they will uh, probably have it by then, which sucks. And it's like it um, like it, it's only for the purpose of making videos that it sucks. Like it doesn't like it doesn't matter otherwise. Like the the uh, <clears throat> I can still get first in the leaderboard or whatever. They're not going to actually have any sort of gameplay advantage uh, because they get it first now. He who clucks first does not always cluck last, guys. Keep that in mind. Keep that keep that in mind at all times. So, uh, to everyone else that gets it ahead of the chicken, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, give him a two-day advantage. Give him a two-day advantage. Let's see where we're all at by Saturday. You can have your fancy advantage. You can have all your your crazy um, crazy recording devices and everything. But we'll see we'll see where the chicken is at by Saturday, guys. And then we'll just kind of go from there. So, that's kind of uh, the chicken's challenge being issued to the other YouTubers and uh, my subscribers as well. To everyone that has the uh, to everyone that has the mega crab nice and early and everything. Let's see where you're at by Saturday. Let's see if you can uh, let's see if you can still have your uh, shadow advantage by then, guys. So, chicken's pretty salty, I guess, about <laughs> about being late about the mega crab. But uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um. He who clucks first does not always cluck last. Always remember that, guys. That's a great piece of advice from the chicken. So I'm thinking that um, it's still exciting that the shadow in here is that the shadow is actually here and stuff. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to crab. It just sucks that um, sucks that we're not actually getting it um, at the correct time um, as the chicken does with the events and everything. But um, but yeah, so far we've seen. Actually, we should go over in the boombox next. They actually released a couple. Uh, a couple things there that uh, that we should take a look at. So we've got this thing called the Taunt Tower, and I'm not going to get into too much detail on this because I may have um, in another video that's not scheduled to be released yet. But from what we've seen in the pictures, it looks pretty interesting. It's um, it, it it's it's like a Doctor Terror kind of uh, scarecrow looking thing that uh, I'm assuming it explodes. It, it has some sort of like uh, bomb connected to the bottom of it or whatever. So. I guess we'll have to wait and see exactly how that works. Um, okay, so stage three, yeah, stage three. So we're not uh, we're not doing things too quickly here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, there's a lot of like uh, different pictures and stuff that they put in. So uh, it looks like we will definitely have be having the crab uh, by the end of the week for sure. Well, I guess we we already know as of right now, people have got the shadows up and uh, the timers are are already counting down. Uh, so we'll we'll go ahead and take a quick look at the boombox here, guys. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? This always takes like two hours to come up, so sorry for the wait. All right, so we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Um, okay, so here we go. So it's got every time by Dr. T. That was just the uh, that was just the thing they tweeted out the video of the anniversary of Mega Crab uh, sneak peek, the Taunt Tower. They've got some new sunsets, uh, Mega Crab conspiracy theories. Those are actually pretty funny. Uh, definitely check those out. Um, so th there's nothing you can actually look at. It was just the one video they posted of the anniversary mega crab that we've already seen. Uh, aside from that, it was just like some text um, talking about the mega crab, whatever. Holy jeez, this is gonna be a rough stage four here, guys. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the mega crab worries, guys. The mega crab worries. I guess it's not that big of a deal. We'll still get there. Um, like I said, you you guys can have all the fancy. Uh, you you can you can have a four days in advance for all I care. We'll see where everyone's at by Saturday, guys. We'll see where everyone is at. Um. Okay, so we're gonna be smoking our way up here, smoking our way up. Uh. Okay. 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 Careful, that flamethrower chicken. Be very careful. 
This is quite the friggin' walk. My god, look at how far back we have to go here. This is crazy. Um, I could have done this better by not... Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we barely made it there. We're gonna throw a couple med kits down. Uh, we're getting roasted. Getting roasted. Get out of there, Zookas. Get out of there. Okay, so we're throwing some... Uh... We actually managed to keep most of them alive somehow. Um, so we only got three shocks left, so we should be able to do this in... in... Okay, what? How does that make sense? How do we how do we one shot stage four with not even all the zookas, but then stage two or three took two shots with all the zookas? Like what 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 is the chicken's very rustled today, guys. Very rustled today. I don't understand what's going on. Things are happening, chickens are chickening, we're going into stage five. Um Here we go guys, here we go. These have been terrible zooka stages so far. Wow. Um okay, so hmm. Where do we want to go for this one? I want to go right in front, I think. Uh, I'm going to take out this mine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flare down because I think it's going to be able to keep them more grouped up, especially walking through the trees and stuff. That can be a huge problem, uh, not being able to keep the Zookas in line enough. Um, okay, okay, okay. So we're, we're marching our way over. The flare is gonna, probably going to expire before they get to it, but that's okay because I put it a little farther out than I actually need it to be. And we're going to go ahead and flare up here. And this should kind of keep them in a bit of a straighter line, guys. We're going to get some crazy tree walks here. Um, it's always... <laughs> yeah, th these are the worst types of, uh, of layouts to use Zookas on. Just because these trees are so crazy. I never know which way they're going to go. But we made it up there with a pretty good amount of GB, so we should be fine. Uh, we might hit that one mine, but I think that's alright. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Because I do have like seven or three troop pelts on this account, so it's not really a big deal, guys. Um, now I'm going to throw critters in the back here to distract that rocket launcher. I'm going to shock shock. We're going to throw out some med kits. Quad med kits should easily, easily get rid of any damage uh, done by those two rocket launchers. And moving on to stage 6, guys. Okay, anyways guys, anyways guys, we'll try to keep the salt to a bit of a minimum here. And um, we'll make our way back in again. Now this time, we'll do it, uh, we'll try to do it a little smarter. I'm going to come in from the left so I don't need a million smokes. To, uh, to get down there. Uh, I want to take out this flamethrower because that's going to be a problem. Uh, I think we can almost save a shock doing that as well. Um, so what we'll do here is I'm going to take out these three and we're kind of just going to go into that little area that we kind of cleared out there. Guys, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight chickens on the beach. Eight chickens on the beach, guys. Okay. All right, so smoke there. And then flare up here. Yeah, I think this is going to work out a little better for us, guys. All right, so it's all about just uh, having a little hashtag chicken patience here and doing a little bit better job scouting. Uh, you see there's a pretty big difference for going straight on than going this way. So um, I didn't even really need a whole whack of GB to get there either, and it looks like I'm only going to need three shocks to finish this, uh, if the chicken is not mistaken, guys. Uh, so what we will do, since we have the extra GBE, we're going to throw out the critters, and then use the rest for med kits. I like doing this because those rock launchers in stage 6 really aren't going to do that much damage, so you can kind of just use your, your, uh, your health packs just to, just to heal them up a little bit. And um, they can usually offset any sort of rock launcher damage. Stage, stage 7, you don't want to do it because the they're going to be taken out. Um, the rock launchers will be strong enough to just kind of plow right through them. So speaking of stage 7, we're going to dive on into stage 7, guys. Here we go. Oh, come on, plow through for us. Oh my good lord, man. We were so close. We were so close. How much health do they have left? Like one? Like, give me a break. Holy jeez. Alrighty, I guess we're bringing out the skanks. Bring it out the skanks, guys. Okay, Scorchers and Tanks on Dr. Terrence, stage 7. Here we go. Here we friggin' go. Um, I'm just gonna launch them all out like that. We're gonna try to clear out as much garbage as we can here. Uh, I wanna get rid of the shock launcher, those boom cannons. Uh, this shock launcher as well. It doesn't have that much of, uh, like, the, there's not that much health on the core, so I'm not sure why, um... I'm not sure why it was uh, <clears throat> going down so slowly there, because I'm pretty sure we did have most of the warriors on it. Um, okay, that's okay, that's okay. So we're going to work away on this shock launcher next, guys. Uh, I can let them clear out that stuff on the top right, because it's not really um, it's not really going to be too detrimental. Um, 
Okay, so we're good. We gotta take out this boom can next. We're gonna lose that scorcher, but that's okay. Uh, I need one more artillery, and then we should be able to move in for the kill. Uh, okay, I need a little bit more GB to flare back down too. So we'll take out a couple machine guns, and then we'll make our way um, down here like this, all the way down, guys, all the way down. Okay, so next we're gonna take out the shock launcher, boom can, and we should be pretty okay after that. Um, I just need a couple shocks for these, uh, the, for the normal cans, and then we should be good to go. And that tank is going to bravely take out that boom mine for us, hopefully. Get up there! If it dies, oh my god. Nothing's going right today. Nothing is going right today. Holy jeez. Holy freaking jeez. Like, between the, the crab shadow timing, like, the, the million diamonds we spent, like, chicken is very salty today, guys. Very salty. Um... All right, can we move forward and take some stuff out? Can we please move forward, guys? All right, so we're going to be shocking on this. I'm going to throw some critters down there. Um, I need a Scorcher to stay alive to offset that shock launcher. We got another shock. Uh, as soon as we take out that flamethrower, okay, lock on the HQ force, please. And then we're just going to take it out <sighs> with tanks. Hopefully, guys, hopefully. We've got to hope and pray here. What a nasty Dr. Terrence. This was just brutal. Probably, like, the, the worst one to do with Zookas because, I mean... It wasn't that, like, <clears throat> it's not that the layouts were that hard. It was just the fact that the HQ was so far at the back. Like, it took all my freaking GBE to get there. So, very interested to see how Zemo does this HQ18 uh, with Zookas. That would be very interesting, guys. But we did finally get it unboosted. We had to bring out the Scorchers and Tanks. Oh, man. So, let me let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for the Mega Crab. Uh, Friday, 6 p.m. has been confirmed. Whatever that local time is for you. Um, unfortunately, in Canada, we'll be the last people on Earth to get it. Um... But that's okay, guys. That's okay. We will, um... He who clucks first does not always cluck last, guys. That's the message of the day. That's the take-home. Uh, we'll see where everyone's at on Saturday. Give them two weeks advantage if they want. See where they're at by this weekend, guys. That's gonna wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. <laughs>